All right, guys and girls. Yeah, welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? All right, guys, check it out. Behind me, I got a 2018 Nissan Altima. And what we're gonna do, <laughs> that's what we're gonna be doing. Show you how to shave the outside door mirror. Coming up on Astro Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, let's get <laughs> let's get this mirror changed. All right, first we're we'll gonna do, um, matter of fact, let me get one of my tools. Guys, go to Harbor Freight or something and get you a bottle panel, body panel uh, pry bar set. You're gonna need something like this. All right, let's get this off. The first thing you wanna do is, I don't know. I have no idea what the heck I'm gonna do. Anyway, let's, 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 let's uh, huh, you know what? This, you, you can use a screwdriver, but you don't wanna mark anything up. So I try to use these so it doesn't mark anything up. First thing you wanna do, we got a little cover right here and if you look inside it you'll see a little bitty opening where you can get something in there to pry that up and you see that's what these kind of messed up at so then you'd have to use a screwdriver or something and get that and pop that right out of there it's going to uncover a 10 millimeter bolt so dang it so what you want to do Get you a 10 millimeter shallow socket, quarter inch drive. I got a six inch quarter inch drive extension and my quarter inch drive ratchet. Let's get that bolt out of there and we'll be right back. All right guys, the next thing you wanna do, now take your body, body uh, pry bar and there's a molding right along this panel. You can sometimes pop that off, but uh, again, again this thing is like, you want to get in there and there we go pull around pop that off bunch of clips pop that off put that to the side the reason why you're doing that is because you're going to pop up this window switch right here now this window switch has got a little clip right here it's held in right there so what you want to do is just push that in and Pop the whole switch right up out of there. Bring it to the side, bring it down, and we're gonna unplug it. To unplug it, the little one, you got a little tab right there. Squeeze that tab into the connector, unplug it. Turn it around, here's the other one. Squeeze that tab down into the connector, and unplug it. All right, let's put this to the side, we'll be right back. All right guys, the reason why we took all that off because look down in there, yeah buddy, there's another 10 millimeter bolt. Now don't get them mixed up. Notice how this one is dark and that one up there was like silver. So we're gonna use our same 10 millimeter setup. Go ahead, unscrew that, and be careful when you're taking it out so it don't drop down, but you'll be okay. Get that bolt out. Screw and put that to the side. We'll be right back. All right guys, we got that screw out. The next thing we're gonna do is go follow, follow up here. You're gonna have another screw and you're gonna have a little plug right here. So what you wanna do is push the tab on that, push that tab down to the connector and back that plug up. I mean, you could do this when the door panel's off, but you gotta be very, very careful to make sure you got that, don't pull the whole thing off. Now we got a screw, another screw right inside there. Same thing, 10 millimeter. Let's get that 10 millimeter out, and we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, now your door panel is held on by a, a bunch of clips going all the way around. Now, what you want to do is follow, there's an, a little seam, a little opening, right there between the door panel and the door itself. Yeah, buddy, the door. All right, so you're going to follow that all the way around, and it, you can actually, up under here, you can actually start putting your hands, your fingers, right between there, all around. So, now this is what we're going to do, guys. This is what you do. Take your knee, brace it up against the, the door, right there. Take your hands, find you a nice opening around the door, and what you're going to do is just, just firmly pull the door panel, the clips, away from the uh, door, like... Just like that. Continue. Now I'm using both my hands now. So my other hand's over this side doing it. So just keep going around. Keep going around. Once you get it off, pick it up. Bring the door out. Just slowly let it hang down. Now if you want, just so you don't mess this up over here, take this clip, push the clip in, and unplug it. That way. It's going to rest just like that. All right. Everything is looking good, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys. The next thing we're going to do, got a little tape going on around here. Pull this tape back. Get it off of there. And this little cover right here, this little cover just will just pop right off. There's going to be clips right in here that you're going to just pull back. And on the top, it just pull back. There's a clip right there. And just let this piece hang down to the side and everything is good now what that's going to uncover make sure all the tape is out of the way get your knife cut the tape off it's going to uncover three 10 millimeter nuts right there but before you do anything here's the wiring harness going to the mirror let's just push this tab in unplug it lean that to the side all right we'll be right back all right guys got our same 10 millimeter setup let's take those three well actually I don't even know if they hold it in the mirror anymore. <laughs> Let's go see over here. No, actually, guys, whoops, we got we got to take those out because if you look on the other side, the mirror is off. Just hold, this tape is holding it on. So we got to take off our 10 millimeters because it's held on by these. And so let's take all three of those off. Let's take get all our tape. Dang it. There it is. Okay. Let's get our tape off of here. Man, boy, he wasn't, he wasn't kidding when he put the tape on this thing. Oh, this I got to roll down the window to get this. Um, if yours is like this, guys, you got a customer like this, be very careful because you don't want that mirror to swing and break the glass. So, if anything, roll that glass down. All right, so let's get this window out of here. Take the rest of those screws out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. It took us a while. We had to take the tape off. <laughs> All right, let's get our new mirror. Let's match them up. And what we're going to try to do now, this one, this one comes with a cover that pops on back here. But we're going to try to pop this one off. Looks like it held on by a couple clips, and so, they don't have to paint it. so we don't have to paint it or nothing. So let's take off. They got some protective covers here make sure off take off these three right here and let's go get this mirror mounted on there we'll be right back all right guys we got our three nuts right here 10 millimeter nuts let's take our wiring harness and fish it through there and then we got the three bolt holes whoops so we got to make sure we line those up make sure the mirror fits in there good just like that. All right, then take your, your three nuts and then you're gonna put them on the studs that's coming out by loosely by hand. All right, then we're gonna switch to the other side. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our three 10 millimeter nuts here. Let's go ahead, bring them all in. And these are, these, these studs are screwed into plastic. So you got to be very careful. That's all you're going to do is bring them in till it stops and a little bit more. That's it. So it stops and a little bit more. Let's get the last one done. Then we're going to take this over here and plug this up. All right, let's get the last one done and we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our little cover right here and bring that up. And we noticed that the wiring harness was going inside there. Now remember, this little clip right here, that's gonna snap into that little hole right there. Then you got the ones that's down here that snaps into there. So let's get those lined up. Great guys, that is looking good. The next thing we're gonna do, bring our panel up. Oh, you know what? I unplugged this guys, and we didn't even have to. So let's keep reach back in here and plug this one back up. Dang it. I mean, don't you hate that? You get it, you get something unplugged. And then, they like you don't wanna plug back up. There we go. All right, because back here, we got the harness right here. Let's plug this back up. Make sure your cables are still locked into place because these cables can pop out just like that. So make sure it's still locked into place. Bring your door panel up. Bring your harness through. Now what you wanna do is go over here to the sides and you wanna line up one of those clips. You go right through there. You can see the clip. Make sure it's lined up with the door. And pop that into place. Go on to the other side. And do the same thing. Um, go on this side for me, I wanna show them something. Before you do guys, see this little lip right here? No, you're gonna go through the mirror again. What? Through the window. Oh, you are looking through the mirror window. This little clip right here, this little hook, make sure it goes over this clip right here. It sets right into there. All right, pop it in. Pop all the rest of them in. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, next you do, take your three screws, the two dark ones. One's gonna go right here. And what you wanna do is get your 10 millimeter, start that in there. Then, you got the one down here, inside the door. Start that one. Then you got the silver one up here. Now all three of them do the same thing. Tighten it up till it stops. Oops. And then a little bit more. That's it, all right? Let's get the other two tightened up and we'll be right back. All right guys, now let's take our window switch, door switch, line that up, plug it up. Plug up the other one. Now, let's set this into place. Oops. All right, then what you're gonna have, you got a clip right here, and then you got the one over here, and then you got the one right there. So just bring the door switch down, Make sure all of them are lined up and pop it down into place. Perfect. Next, our trim right here. Line up all your clips. Now it's a good thing to do, instead of lining up all your clips, you see that little hole right there? That's gonna go there. And then, this one up here, you got the big clip right there. So once you line those two up, You can go ahead, whoops, pop it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. You know what? Let's take this back off. Let's hook this into here. It makes it easier. Then, snap it into place. Perfect. All right, we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, now we got the little trim that goes into here. It's got two little hooks on it. Those two little hooks go onto those two little holes inside there. So you gotta make sure it goes in there first and then push it, snap it into place. That is done. All right, guys, let me roll this window up and now I'm gonna leave it down and we'll be right back. All right, guys, it looks like that cover snaps on by one, two, three. I'm not sure about that one. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here to the old one. And I, well, we ain't got no choice. We're gonna use our body uh, pry bar and try to get it off. All right, let's go over here. Let's take uh, let's take this one. And hopefully, we need to try to get in there some way. Without without damaging, see these things really ain't that ain't that small. That's the thinnest one you have. Yeah, that's why they all made. You know, let's start from the bottom. So just in case we do mess up some. That thing felt tight. Something broke right there. Ah, that was the piece that's hooking on into there. There was no way taking that out without... Man, this is some bull, man. But, hopefully the others... Honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd rather just put the other one on. Maybe, maybe we should ask him what he want to do before we do this, right? I think it will stay on, it's just, yeah, look at that, man. But then they won't match. Hey, this one got a little hook right there. Oh. Oh, well. So you, you want to put it on? I don't want to try on. Huh? Sure, it depends it's, on how it's going to stay on. It'll stay on. It'll I think it'll definitely so stay on. Is there going to be like a gap or? No, not at all. Are you just saying that? No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. It's not. Yeah, fine, let's put it on. Alright guys, let's go over here. Now I noticed we got a little ledge right inside here, right here. So, before I snap this into place, you sure? Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. Too many bolts, maybe. Or more than one. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. It is definitely not gonna stay. So we definitely gonna be. So maybe you put before you put that on. You want to see if he wants to get that painted. Because I think that's why it comes separate. 
So once you put it on, that's it, it's done. Right. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go <coughs> talk to the customer. That's weird. That looks like it should've. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, what you're looking at right now is the sticker for the vending oil information. Now, right here is the color code right here. So we spoke to the customer. Now, what we're gonna do is call the dealership. We're gonna try to get us a little, uh, little dupla color spray can, whatever that, whatever we get, so we can spray that outside cover to the way it's supposed to be and pop it right on. All right. So there you go. We'll be right back. All right. So today we had a 2018 Nissan Altima, and we showed you how to replace your uh, driver's side uh, door mirror. So if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. We can repair it. Nobody can. See you next time.